Team Cat Mojo, here we go. Cat Cave version 2.0. I'm gonna take you around here. I'm gonna show you what's up. Let's get catified. Go. We are now relocated in house and the cat cave is now uh, open for business. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna take you around the cat cave. By the way, this, this holds a very special place in the cat cave. This here is uh, a guitar custom made by me and presented to me on the set of My Cat From Hell by a good guy named Mike at River Song Guitars. And I gotta tell you something, the best guitar I've ever laid my hands on. It wouldn't be a cat cave if we didn't have cat books here. And these are not just for show. These are things I refer to all the time. The Natural Cat, The New Natural Cat, Anitra Frazier, Love Her. This is an amazing book. This book right here, dry like white toast. But I gotta tell you, this study that Paul Lehausen did really revolutionized the way we take a look at, at cats by, by looking at feral colonies and their behavior. I love this one too, The Cat Who Cried For Help. Um, my friend Nick Dodman here. This is a fantastic book. In terms of day-to-day -day health and upkeep and maintenance and, and just a really great life for your cat, this is also wonderful. Cat Behavior. This is a great beginning book. If you don't know anything about cat behavior, this is a great place to start. Anyway, Jeffrey Mason's book, The Nine Emotional Lives of Cats. And in order to solve problems in your, in your home with your cats, it's first of all important to acknowledge the depth of their emotional life. This is a great place to start this book right here. Now, let's take a look at the bigger, the zeitgeist that is the cat cave. So let's take a big shot here. I know you guys have seen this, this portrait of Benny back here, uh, but Benny, my boy, uh, that we wrote Cat Daddy about, uh, this guitar here, uh, really funny. You know, at one point, you guys, uh, if you've read my book, which you should read my book, you would know that at one point I weighed 400 pounds. I was playing this guitar, and I saw a picture of me playing it on stage, and it looked like a ukulele, because I was such a big guy. So I actually went on eBay, saw this guitar, said, okay, it's a big guitar. I put one bit on the damn thing, and got saddled with the bill, but I do love that guitar. Um, up here, you, you'll see, uh, I don't know if you guys remember the episode with Tony the cat, the one who kind of would sexually assault a stuffed animal. Uh, that's Ninja Tony, which uh, I had Betty, uh, his person, make. Uh, and I love Ninja Tony, so he's still up there filled with catnip. Right next door to that, you see this picture from Susan Weingarten, a good friend of mine. That is, to me, uh, one of those things that really gives you the essence of cat. Here, you know, my friend Bob Walker and Francis Mooney, uh, this was a kind of a seminal book when it came to catification. If you guys don't have the cat's house, it's gonna be kind of hard to find this teeny little version, but you can find the big version. And when you start catifying, start there. And of course with my book, Catification, coming out to a bookstore near you in October. Anyway, uh, you know, there's, oh, my high pishy. And this is what makes the cat cave the cat cave now, folks. But now we get to have cats in the cat cave. I couldn't be happier right now. This completes the vibe. We are catifying my world right now. That's about it. Uh, in the meantime, you wanna to talk to me about all things catification or, or mojo-ish or anything like that, you know where to find me. You know that you can go to Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or Google uh, or, you know, like I've always said, standing online at the Whole Foods, whatever it is, you can find me and, and you can get answers to the questions that you might have about cats, all right? All right, until next time, folks. All light of love, all mojo to you. Love you. You're a bad cat, you're a bad cat, you're a bad cat. I'm just misunderstood.